Today I want to talk to you a little bit about powder coating. You can hear pros and you can hear cons about it, but if you should decide that you do want to have your frame powder coated, I want to talk to you a little bit about the difference between a real glossy finish and something that's only 70%. Behind me are two frames. We're going to get a closer look at them right now and you'll see the difference. Good place to begin would be back here on the upper shock mount. You can see how shiny it looks. Some people prefer that. But for a more authentic look, you'd want to go with the powder coating gloss that I discussed at the opening of the video. Tell your powder coater that you would prefer to not have 100% gloss, but you'd like more of a 60 or 70%. It looks much more like paint. It looks much more authentic and a much closer match to what the paint actually looked like on your Honda Elsinore or whatever black frame you would be refinishing from that era. You could also see along these top rails how glossy it looks on this frame and on the 70% gloss frame it's looking a whole lot more like paint and the way it would have looked originally. Let's get a look at the swing arms as they're laying flat under the light and you could tell on the left of course is the 100% gloss, the high gloss swing arm done in powder coating. On the right the one done at 70% gloss. Again, it looks a whole lot more authentic. And if you're restoring a bike, I think you want to ask your powder coater next time for a 70% gloss on your black frames. Well, there you have it. The differences were obvious between the 100% gloss and the 70% gloss. You could really see it on the swing arms too. My advice would be next time you go for a powder coating job, and it doesn't have to be just for black, it could be with any color that you're going to powder coat your bike silver, red, whatever it may be. Ask for a 70% gloss finish to make it look a little more like paint and a lot more authentic. 